We'd arrive in the van, usually in the early evening, pin up the poster, set up the chairs and benches, uh, place a table by the door for the collection, you know, maybe sweep the place out. Gracie would make tea on the Primus stove. Teddy would set up his amplifying system. I would fortify myself with drink. And then we would wait. And wait. And as darkness fell, a few would sidle in. Black, Pin Cater, Don Bacon, Don Plain, Bin Lars, Bin Breeze, Don Breeze, Bin Nain. And the people that did come to us, the, you know, the, the crippled, the blind, the disfigured, the deaf and the barren. What is there to say about them? They were a despairing people, that they came to me, a mountbank, was a measure of their despair. They seldom spoke, sometimes didn't even raise their eyes, they just sat there, assuming that I had divined their complaints, abject, abased, tight, longing to open themselves, but carefully and fearfully hurting the anguish that they contained against disturbance, you know. And they hated me for the, oh yes, 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 they hated me because they exposed themselves by coming to me, publicly acknowledged their desperation. And even though, they said to themselves, they had come for the remote possibility of a cure. They knew in their heart of hearts, they had not come for a cure, but for the proof and confirmation that they were incurable. Not for hope, but for the elimination of hope. For the sealing of their anguish. For the content of finality. That's why they came. <laughs> and they knew that I knew. And so they defied me to endow them with their hopelessness. And I couldn't even do that for them. And they knew that. The peculiar situation, wasn't it? Oh, God, it's not peculiar. It's eerie. Because occasionally, just occasionally, the, the miracle would happen. And then, oh, panic, panic, panic. They're ripping apart. The sudden explosion of their careful calculations. The, the, the flooding in of desperate, hopeless hope. I, God, I often thought it would be better if I'd never come to see them at all. And there was one more thing about them. When Teddy would introduce me, and I was in the wings, and I would look out at them, I often got the strange sense that they had not come on their own behalf at all, but as delegates, uh, legati, chosen because of their audacity and that outside Mute, poised, lingering in the half-light were hundreds of people who held their breath while we were in the locality. And I also got the sense that if we had not come to them, they would have sought us out.